हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द चकीफर्स कॉमर्स क्लासेस सो इन टुडे सेशन विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक ऑन सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम ओके सो वेन एवर यू हैव सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम इन अ प्रॉब्लम हाउ यू आर सपोज टू डील विद इट और हाउ यू आर सपोज टू सॉल्व इट विल स्टडी इन टुडे सेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट इज सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम so a share may be issued at an amount more than the face value so in this case of issue of shares at premium so whenever a share is issued at an amount which is more than the face value of the share then such a case is known as issue of shares for example if there is a share whose face value is rupees 10 and it is issued at rupees 20 so the difference that is rupees 10 is the premium per share so when a company issues its share at a higher price than the face value it is said to be issued at premium however there is no legal restriction on the issue of shares at premium we have to remember that the premium on shares is a capital profit okay and hence it must be credited to the securities premium account and also it is shown in the balance sheet under the heading reserves and surplus so this is the meaning of securities premium so in simple words what is securities premium whenever a share is issued for an amount which is higher than the face value okay now there are certain purpose for which the securities premium account can be used the first one is to issue fully paid bonus shares to its members secondly it can be used in order to pay off the preliminary expenses of the company thirdly it can be to pay off the expenses on commission paid or discount allowed on issue of shares or debentures and also it can be to provide for any premium on redemption of preference shares or debentures so this is just theoretical knowledge and you all may or may not get a theory question on that but in case if you have a question or in case if security premium is asked in the problem then you all should know how you are supposed to solve it okay so this was just about the meaning of securities premium so now moving forward to issue of shares at premium so let's study about pro forma journal entries now students we have to remember that the security premium it can be received along with application or along with allotment so our first pro forma journal entry is when the security premium is received along with application how will we write it we will write it as bank account debit to share application account being application money received second will be on transfer of application money that is share application account debit to share capital account being application money transferred and third is when security premium is due on allotment first case was when we received the security premium along with the application money and this case that is 3 is when the security premium is due on allotment so in most of the problems you will get security premium along with allotment so here the entry will be share allotment account debit to share capital account and to security premium account security premium account will be credited okay and the narration is being allotment money due on shares including premium note if it is not specified in the problem when the premium is receivable then the amount of premium should be recorded at the time of allotment okay most of the times it will be mentioned that it is along with allotment but in case if in any problem it's not mentioned then it should be recorded at the time of allotment so this was the pro forma general entries will solve one problem with security premium then it, it will give you all more clarity about how you are supposed to solve problems on premium so students let's start with solving a problem on premium the question says that rajasthan trading company issued 10000 equity shares of rupees 10 each at a premium of rupees 2 per share on application rupees 2 on allotment rupees 5 including premium and the first and the second call rupees 5 so all the shares were fully subscribed and the money was duly received on application and allotment pass the general entries so students first of all in this problem we should know that there is premium why because in the question itself it's mentioned that premium is rupees 2 also in the bracket uh, it's written that including premium so in allotment premium is included how do we know because it's mentioned in the question okay it's mentioned in the bracket including premium so allotment is 5 so out of 5 rupees 2 is for premium so allotment is rupees 3 okay secondly here you can see that all the shares were fully subscribed and the money was duly received on application and allotment it's not mentioned first and second call it means we did not receive money on the first and second call so in this problem we have to solve only the application and the allotment entries 
we did not write the first and the second call why because we have not received any money on the first and the second call so let's begin the first entry is bank account debit to equity share application account we all know how we got 20000 we got it by 10000 multiplying with 2 so that that is 20000 and 20000 and the narration is being application money received on 10000 shares at rupees 2 Second is equity share application account debit to equity share capital account. Again, the amount is twenty thousand and twenty thousand, and the narration is being application money transferred to share capital account. Let's start with our third entry: equity share allotment account debit to equity share capital to security premium account. So let's see how we are supposed to solve it. There are two methods. Firstly, what we can do is start with security premium. Premium is rupees two, and shares issued is ten thousand. So two into ten thousand will give us twenty thousand. Then come to share allotment. Total allotment is five and issued is ten thousand. So ten thousand into five will give you fifty thousand. So how did I get this thirty thousand? So here you have to subtract twenty thousand from fifty thousand. That is, you will get thirty thousand. This is one method. Second method is again you start with securities premium two into ten thousand twenty thousand. Then here it's given that allotment is five including premium. So when you remove two from five. What you get is rupees three. So this three you multiply by ten thousand, you will get it as thirty thousand. So on the credit side, you have got fifty thousand. So we know that the debit and the credit side should be the same. Therefore, here if it is fifty, the same will come here also fifty. So whichever method you want to follow, you can do it. But I find it that first, if you write security is premium, then if you write equity share allotment, and then minus or subtract this two, then this amount that you will get that is thirty thousand. This is an easier method. That is according to me. Now it depends upon your students which method you you all find it to be easy. But you also know that this is how you are supposed to solve a problem whenever premium is mentioned. All right. Moving on to the fourth. So bank account debit to equity share allotment. Again fifty thousand and fifty thousand. And the narration is being allotment money received. So after you finish the fourth entry, what we have to do? We have to total the debit and the credit side. So here I have one lakh forty thousand and one lakh forty thousand on the debit and the credit side. So this is how you solve a problem whenever there is premium. All right. So you have to remember that in case if there is premium in the problem, you are supposed to write allotment in this way. That is equity share allotment account debit to equity share capital to security premium. Always remember the premium will be on the credit side. All right. So this was all for today. So in today's session, I discussed with you all about how to solve problems on issue of shares at premium. So whenever there is premium, you are supposed to record the entry in such a way. So in my next session, we'll discuss about issue of shares at discount. So if there are any queries or any thing that you all did not understand, then please ask me in the comment section. Also, if you liked my today's video, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.